Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. Uh, Nigel back again with a, another little um, review for you. Um, before we start, can I please remind you to like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell, tell your friends, tell your family, tell everyone, and uh, hopefully we'll get lots and lots more subscribers. As we are today, November the 6th, 2018, I'm just about to hit 200, which is, uh, which is incredible. It's like, um, I think it's like 35 in a day, in 24 hours. It's, uh, so if this just keeps going, it's, it's great. And um, hopefully people are liking what I see. Or people are liking what they see, sorry. Um, so what have I got for you today? It's a review, not of this. Yes, I've been spending my money again. This is a uh, Hansa Brandenburg W12. And it's uh, a Wingnut Wicks kit, as you can see. <laughs> and it's absolutely beautiful. But once again, it's another eBay purchase. And even though I asked them specifically to put it inside a cardboard box for me, they didn't. They wrapped it in paper and put some bubble wrap on the ends. And also they forgot to mention in their description that the end of the box is actually split open, as you can see here. So, uh, but I'm gonna build it so I don't mind. But um, isn't it sad? This was a hundred pounds. I'll show you something in a minute. This was a hundred pounds, or hundred and three pounds, I think. Um, and you know, you you wouldn't put a hundred pounds piece of jewellery in an envelope, would you, and send it? But they think it's okay to put a hundred pound model in some brown paper and send it. And uh, yeah, as a result, I mean, one of the corners is damaged here, and the whole middle of the box is sort of crushed in. But due to Wingnut Wings great box strength and everything they get away with it but I think I'm finished with buying um with buying models from eBay from private sellers because they just don't know what they're doing do they um and if you're a private seller you know please make sure you mention in your descriptions that you will package this kit in a cardboard box because I sell a few kits and I'm going to do that I've got a really good reputation for my packaging and this sending a kit like this is crap absolute crap and you don't deserve anyone's custom, let alone mine. Um, so yeah, um, I can recommend a guy called Stonebridge 1944. He sells a lot of Wing Not Wings kits and his prices are great. Most of them are buy it now. Um, his packaging is great. He takes a little bit of time to deliver. He doesn't sort of send it the next day, but he does say that in his description, but he always packages it well and the kit comes as new which is really, really good compared to crap like this. Um, another one I can recommend is Belgrave Steve. He, I bought my Yonkers J1 from him and his description was that the box was a little tatty and a bit damaged and, you know, the fact that it wasn't perfect. The box on that kit was probably better than the box on this kit and he sent it in an outside cardboard lining, you know. This, it's all, it's what I do. If I was selling this kit to you now on eBay, I would get a piece of card or a large cardboard box and I'd cut it and fold it so it fits neatly around it and, you know, wrap it all in tape, mark it with fragile, job done. You know, that's the way to sell a kit. Um, but no, oh, I'm waffling now. So yeah, the review today is not about this. The review today because you can go on to Harry Houdini models. I'll put a link in the description down below. You probably wonder where I'm wearing a baseball cap because of this. The light reflects off my head. It does my head in and I can't stand to see it on the video. So why should you guys? So this is what I could find with this bloody old Tennessee whiskey thing or Tennessee honey. And it's all wrinkled up and out of shape. And who cares? We're into modeling, aren't we? Um, yeah, so go to Harry Houdini Models. You'll see a fantastic review he's done of that kit. Uh, it's, it's beautiful. So I'm not going to review the kit unless you want me to do a review of it. If you want me to review it, then leave a note down below in the messages and I will review it. I've also got the W29. So W12, the kit is beautiful. Do you need photo etch accessories? Probably not. Um, do you need accessories with any Wingnut Wings kit? Probably not, but this came with that kit. So this was why I bought it, because I could have bought this off of Stonebridge 1944 for 99 99 and I wish I had it done. Well, 
No, I don't. Because I got this with the kit for £101 or £103, whatever it was. And this alone, I think, is £30, £40. So I'm really, really chuffed. Obviously, the person that was selling it didn't know what they were selling. And they could have sold this individually for £25. <laughs> so, um, anyway, I'm going to do a review of this, which is the HDW set 132149 which is a complete super set but also as i said i've got the w29 and a certain model shop in the uk has got some of their prices wrong and this came up for like 20 quid for this complete super detail set so um i bought this for the w29 um and it's it's nice do you need it probably not I'll do a review anyway. So there we go. Um, I'll get this stupid hat off. I'll get this bloody top off because I'm boiling. And um, you didn't need to know that, did you? And I'll uh, I'll get get these packets open and we'll see what's inside them. I'll get the camera turned around as well. So I was looking at the bench. So see you in a minute. Okay, so what have we got? We've got these two sets, both from HGW. They're HGW quality super detail sets. And we've got the one for the W29 is 132063 and the one for the W12 is 132149. If you want to know a bit of history about the Hansa Brandenburg, if you look on the Wingnut, Wing, Wingnut Wings website, click on the kit sets and it will show you these kits as they were originally available. The W12 is still available today. The W29 is one of their first kits that sold out. You can still get it today as part of the um, Duelist set which I've got with the Felix Stowe but it's a massive box and it's quite a large outlay um, but in my opinion it's worth it I think it's a beautiful aircraft um, as I say if you want to see me do a review of the kits then I will um, but if not go to Harry Houdini's website and uh, he's done a great review there uh, I'd also like to introduce this I bought these while I was doing the order um, these are the seat belts, 132048 for the Yunkers J1. Um, and you can see these are the old type, I'll go through this now. The old type sets um, up until, I don't know, probably 2016, had this kind of layout where you had this, um, this lovely uh, sheet of, it's like a fibrous material, it's, it's, it's lovely. Um, you, you, you basically cut them out and you roll them up in your fingers into a ball and then straighten them out and you end up with this, you know, this very realistic looking belt like this. Um, the, I think the downside, without getting these out, I think the downside is the rear side isn't printed. So you end up with like this white backing, but it's, you know, it's nothing much to give it a wash and, and sort of colour it in a bit. Um, you know, I think some of the Eddard Photo Etch ones, they had the, sil the silver backing. So, and also while I'm on that note, Eddard Steel seat belts. Can someone please tell me what the fuss is about? They seem to be making a big fuss now of selling steel seat belts um, rather than the photo etch brass ones. I've never liked the photo etch brass ones. If they're pre-painted, the paint cracks off. And I've always found they're a swine to paint if you, if you get the, the unpainted ones. Um, but they make this big fuss now about steel. Please tell me what it's about if you know. Anyway, back on subject. Yeah, this is the old type. You have to cut them out yourself. It's no big issue. Nice straight edge. So you just slice them out. Nice new blade. Um, but as I say, you do end up with the edges and the backs in white. The, the newer style is like this, where you can see they're laser cut. We'll go more into this in a minute. But you can see that they're laser cut for you. And you don't have to um, worry about cutting them out. And I've got a feeling the back of these might be coloured as well. We'll have a look in a second when we do the review. So, um, yeah, I'll do a review on these two. Basically, this one is just seat belts, but for what they cost, I think they're between like five and seven pounds. I think they're really, really worth it because they are beautiful and you get the photo etch buckles as well. And you can see they've even got a picture of a built Yonkers J1 there. Mm. Mm. I like these very much. I do like the. Oh, sorry, sorry, yeah, uh, yeah. Um, so there we go. So that's the um, that one out of the way. So I'll get these out of the packets one by one. We'll do one of them first, and we'll do the other one second. I don't know which one I'm going to do them round. So um, yeah, pop back in a second, and I'll see you now. Okay, so I've got this all um, emptied out now, <clears throat> and I think we'll uh, 
look at this as it came out of the packet. So we'll start by looking at the instructions, then we'll look at some of the photo etch and the other bits that you get with this set. This is the one for the W12, which is the currently available biplane kit. The masking set you get covers masks for the propeller. You can see you've got the armed areas there. And we've got some um, masks for the windshield and also the, the glazing in the belly of the fuselage. So don't know how that fits obviously because I haven't used it, but um, the masking's there anyway. So uh, should you want it, there it is in the set. Then we've got the seat belts. Now, very simple instructions again, uh, showing you how to fold the belts up. As I mentioned earlier, you get this stuff, cut it out, and then um, screw it up into a ball and then thread it all through these, uh, these photo etch buckles and brackets and stuff and then fit it into the model. They really are extremely realistic and if you buy nothing else, I would buy these sets. Um, and while I'm talking about buying and paying money and stuff, I would like to say that all of this stuff is paid for myself. I'm not sponsored by HGW. I don't know why I've put that there. In fact, I'm gonna turn it over because I actually sent them an email and said, hey, I've done a few review, a few of your bits and pieces. Have a look, see what you think. They didn't even reply. No response whatsoever. I've had the same with Copper State models. And um, also, who else was it? I, I got in touch with ICM and said, I've just done a review of your kit. I'm just reaching out there to see if maybe they'll send me some stuff for review, you know, as you do. And um, yeah, not even a response, nothing. Um, the only people that have responded to my, um, to my emails are Thunder Models. And the nicest of all is Winglet Wings. They um, got quite a little conversation going with them now with uh, with Dave at Winglet Wings. So um, yeah, it's really really nice for the you know you 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 take your time. You put this stuff on your channel. You just want to say hey, have a look at this. See what you think. I'm not saying you know see what you think and send me some free stuff. I'm saying see what you think. And uh, yeah, they don't even reply. So um, yeah, in fact, they take that card away. So. Um, yeah, if, if there's nothing else you buy from this set, I would buy the seat belts. Um, the rest of it is probably superfluous, but I, I would buy the seat belts. Now we move on to the exterior. And as you can see, it's it's basically, you're not really replacing anything. Um, sorry, you're not really adding anything. You're just replacing stuff. So these molded on details on the fuselage you know, it's, uh, do you need it? Probably not. Um, it's all there, as you can see, you're not actually adding anything. You're just replacing what's already there. So, you know, you pay your money, you take your choice, make your mind up. Um, now we move on to the armament. Now, you've got the Parabellum and the Spandau guns, two of these, one of these. You get all this in the kit. I don't think you get this photo etch here, but it's all going to be moulded on the guns and you can see you're actually removing a part there anyway. Um, same here and same there and there. Um, and you get these as photo etch in the kit. So, and the um, aiming parts. So you may choose to buy this, you may not. I'm not sure if you get this ammo in the kit. I'll have to have a look. I, I know you get the, um, the ammo cases in there, but I'm not sure if you get the, the ammo to lead up to the guns. So, uh, yeah, again, takes your money, takes your choice. Engine, um, you do get a nice mesh grill, which I'm not sure if you get in the kit or not. Let's have a quick look at what you do get in the kit. So you can see here, the actual photo that you do get in the kit is the, the two um, cooling jackets there, the single cooling jacket there, some photo etch belts, the aiming sights for the guns, and this chain mechanism here, whatever is probably part of the controls. So that's all you're getting. So, um, yeah, you're not getting this this nice mesh grill, which is which is probably nice to have. Um, I did notice on the PE set, you're getting these ignition wires and these push rods and rocker arms as photo etch parts. Um, Thirty second scale. You know, do you really want flat photo etch? For push rods and, and HT leads, I don't think so. I think I'd rather replace those with wire. Perhaps use the ends, and again, perhaps use the ends of the rocker arms here. But um, I certainly wouldn't be using flat photo etched 
um, parts to, to depict leads. And here we go to the biggie. This is the biggest part of this set. And something I'll show you now will, um, I think it'll probably quite shock you if you haven't seen it already. Now you're obviously getting the instrument panel here in the kit and you've got these bezels that go on. Um, there's that photo etched chain part there. And then you've got obviously something to remove here and then you're adding these throttle levers, I'm assuming they are. Then you've got this clear window framing, as I say, you've got the way framing in the floor and you've got the framing looking through there. Framing for the windows underneath the fuselage um, and some covers there for some parts that are on the outside of the fuselage for some reason. I mean, I don't know why they've got that as part of the interior and that surely that's part of the exterior. This is kind of what Eddard does though, isn't it? HGW have this done by Eddard. I think they're in bed together, but they kind of put parts of one set in another set to make you buy both. Well, yeah. Um, and then this is where it gets interesting. You can see here that they've supplied a complete um, fret of replacement panels for the interior of the cockpit. And you've even got parts here for the seat. Sorry, I'm off shot. There's parts here for the seat and there's more sidewall panels here. This is for the um, engine, engine mounting area. And then you also got separate panels for the inside of the cockpit on the uh, sides. And so as not to keep you in suspense anymore, these are those panels. In fact, what I'll do is I'll get a piece of blank white paper and there you go. It's like, um, it's almost like decal paper that it's done on. And uh, yeah, you obviously cut these out and stick them onto your, onto your plastic parts. But you can see if you're getting close there, you've got the wood grain on those parts. So, uh, you know, if these fit well, I think they're probably really worth having. Um, so probably worth the money for this part of the set. Um, they are very, very nice if they fit well. And I like the fact that if you watch some of my wood graining stuff, they haven't gone overboard with the wood graining. So many people start putting in the wood graining and stuff like you see. And in 30 seconds scale, it just wouldn't be that big. This is far more accurate. So uh, yeah, I think this is very nice indeed. And you've also got the other panel of the side walls in a darker wood. I think unfortunately here, the grain is um, is out of scale, I think, in my opinion. Um, you know, you think this section here of dark brown, that's probably a good two and a half millimetres wide. So in 30 second scale, that's going to be what, 60, 90, that's going to be like four inches wide. I, I don't think so. I don't think you'd have a four inch wide band of wood grain running across a piece of wood especially a piece of wood that large. So yeah, and here it's, it's even coarser in the back. So I don't know, maybe tone them down a bit, maybe put a wash over it. I don't know. But again, it's like, um, it's like decal paper they've used. They're very, they're very nice. I mean, if they fit well, they'd be wonderful, but uh, if they fit well. So let's have a look at some of the uh, parts you get with this set. It's going to be quite difficult to film because of the Reflectivity. One other thing I did want to check. Yeah, you can see on the, what I was talking about earlier. There's the belts. They're as lovely as they are on, lovely as they are on the front. When you look at the back, and on this you've even got red lines. <laughs> so um, yeah, you've got to you've got to do some work on the back if you know if you're going to have them sort of sat over the seat so you can see behind them or even maybe twisted around. But you've also got the photo etch buckles there. You can see, which are very very nice indeed. Um, Looking here, we've got the exterior set, 132138. Again, you can see we've got all these add-on flaps and panels, and the detail is, is very nice on them. But, uh, you know, do you really need them? I don't think so. I think uh, Winglet Wings have done a perfectly good job. Um, then we've got the machine gun fret. If I can get this one up out of the way. I don't really want to pull this about too much. I may not use it, I may sell it. Um, 
but yeah you can see we've got the, the cooling jackets there which you get with the kit anyway some nice ammo belts which uh, they are nice they'll look great with a cut of varnish and paint I say varnish it takes away the um, the flatness and gives it a kind of 3d look you've got the uh, cartridges there um, there's some machine gun parts and so I don't know there's flat plates there so yeah um, this is the interior set the PE part of the interior set here and you can see this is the framing for the windows these are the ones underneath and these are the ones inside um, quite why they're in the interior set I don't know do you need them I haven't looked closely at the kit if that detail is not molded in the kit I'd be very surprised if it's not molded then yes they'll look great um, oh that's come away now that's good uh, and there's the um, those eyelets that go around something on the outside throttles um, it's obviously some kind of chain for some sort of mechanism and then some little rings there for going around parts um, and I'm assuming these are the dials that go around the um, the instrument panel masking set is here I mean what can you say about a piece of masking you can't really it is die cut so and then here's the engine set which you've got your photo etch grills there which are probably quite nice nice to have these that go in the sides with your HT leads in and then more HT leads here with the connectors on the ends I don't know I mean I'd, I'd probably use the connectors and then use easy line for the HT leads or even stretch sprue to get a sort of bit of waviness in it I definitely wouldn't use these push rods I think they look quite pathetic really um, the rocker arms will look nice but the actual push rods themselves you know the kit parts or some brass rod but I definitely wouldn't use flat PE for push rods on a 30 second scale kit I look pathetic in my opinion so there we have it that's the um, that's the W12 set 132149 um, available from your local HGW stockist or HGW direct uh, not quite sure of the price I didn't check on this one but um yes um nice little set those interior wood panels are very nice in my opinion but as I say the sidewalls I think the, the wood graining is way over scale um, but at least it gives you an idea what color it should be I guess in HGW did some research on colors so uh, yeah there we have it let's have a look at the W29 set okay so this is the W29 set 132063 uh, what W29 is the older kit no longer available unless you buy the dualist set with the Felix though and it's the monoplane version and just to let you know I've had a look at the two kits and compared them and although one's a monoplane one's a biplane and they're both handsome Brandenburgs and they look very very similar there are only three sprues one of which is the machine gun sprue that are actually the same um, so yeah the, the wing fuselage interior all of the main components everything is totally different none of the sprues are, are crossed between the two kits so um, yeah it's worth uh, it's worth getting both if you like them I certainly like them I love the look of them I love the uh, square section fuselage and the great big engines sticking out of the front I think they're beautiful they got a tiny little tail on the back of them and if you look at the way um, if you look, I love the way they've done this. If you look at the way Wingnut Wings have actually drawn this, it's very, very clever because if you look, the Hansen Brandenburg has got a tiny little tail which just hangs off the bottom. There's nothing sticking up. It's very unusual looking. Um, if you see it there, you can see what I mean. It's a very unusual looking tail. Whereas the, what they've done is they've angled this in such a way with a Felix Doe behind it that it looks like that tail is on the back of the... Do you see what I mean? It kind of, <laughs> yeah. So um, you could buy this kit from first sight and then get a bit of a shot when you get it home. Still, right, um, I digress. Uh, masking set, again, we've got masks for the, the windscreen visors and the panels underneath. Um, nothing for the propeller on this one. So maybe it doesn't have the armored propeller. No, it uses a different propeller. There's three propellers on one sprue. The W12 kit has one um, or two marked out as don't use them. I'll show you here. Here you go. Yeah, this is the W12. So it's got the same sprue as the W29. And on this one, it says don't use these two props. 
and on the other on the other kit on the w12 the w29 sorry it says don't use that prop so yeah oh they've all got the armor on by the look of it but you don't get the masks in this one so there we go so uh, yeah so there we go with that's that one then we've got the textile seat belts again nothing on the back and it's just showing you you know you get the parts screw them up you can see the instructions there if you want to pause it and have a read um, but again as I said they're white on the back and when you cut them out um, you end up with white on the edges as well so uh, yes yeah, worth remembering interior set on this one is a lot more simple um, this is all you're getting on this one it's just an instrument panel with some photo etched parts to go to go on it um, and you also get a wooden part as well I'm not sure if it's a decal or I'm assuming it is a decal because they're giving you instructions here on how to use the decals if you want to pause that and have a read it's um it's interesting and then we've got the I'll just do this one first very very small um, engine instructions with this one they haven't gone for those stupid flat push rods they've given you a uh, you just use the rocker arms and this one you just use the ends of the HT leads I've got a feeling somebody said that a few minutes ago wasn't that me hmm um, and again they've got these these things with the flats flat HT leads on the end I think they'd probably look all right I mean perhaps give them a coat of gloss black paint or gloss varnish just to take away the flatness from them um, and then you're getting these two these two uh, sort of mesh parts here these grills for the side of the engine I'm not sure if the kit's got their mold or not I'll have to have a look um, and then once again as before this is the surface details kit and then those meshes I just talked about look they're giving you four on this one so if you want all four then you have to buy this set to get all four but the exterior set is, as I said, it, it looks more like an Eddard sheet, this one. It is literally just panels and, and, and stuff that's already moulded on. You, you're cutting off moulded on parts and replacing them with photo etched panels. Um, I should imagine that would look a little bit nicer there. Because you've got this, uh, this kind of scoop or whatever it is, that's a cable come through. So you've got a... Yeah, it looks like it's a cable because it's got a hole in there. But I mean, there's nothing to stop you just drilling that out and open it up on the, on the plastic part. And then, you know, again, you're removing plastic from here and then putting these photo etch parts on. And the same here. You know, yeah, okay. I don't... If this was an old Ravel kit or something, or a trumpeter where it was all out of shape or out of scale, then fine. But with this being windnut wings, I should imagine all this is really, really nice. Not really worth removing. Um, you're probably wondering why I bought these sets. Well, that one came with the kit. The other one, the W12, and this one was uh, was cheap. So um, here we go. So there's our belts. Now this again is the this is the, again it's the fabric material, but on the back it's just white. So you've got to cut these out yourselves. And I think you're getting some spares here, so you'll have enough for another another kit if they use similar belts. Um, then we've got the interior, we've got the photo etched panel here, the bezels for the dials, and then we've got these two wooden instrument panels. And again, they've got this grain on them, I think it's a bit much for 30 second scale. I mean, again, you can, as I said before, you can see they've got that, these lines in the wood here. You know, if you scale that up, if you think these gauges, I don't know. That that's going to be that's probably a minute. So that's going to be like thirty millimeters in thick. It's going to be like that wide for a, a a grain pattern to be in the wood. I don't I don't think it would be. You know I'm, I just I don't know. Here's those external panels. They're all etched and very thin. Um, but really, I guess the hinge detail is going to be a bit cleaner than the plastic molded parts. And these are those parts that you're going to remove. From the sides of the fuselage and put them on. I don't know, we'll have to see. And then here's the engine parts, and we've got the ends of the HT leads and the rocker arms. So no actual um, push rods and no actual HT leads, we just got the ends, but you have got the HT leads here. 
so that's interesting masks can't really say too much about masks they're they're die cut you just pick it up in the light there you can see they're cut and you get a bonus decal with this one uh, or decal sorry it's um these are transparent decals they tell you how to use them you, you would have read it on that um sheet i put up before and uh yeah they tell you i think it's actually on the cover here as well you can see it here oops tells you how to use them right back from that little coughing fit so there we have it then that's the um 132063 hgw super detail set for the hansen brandenburg w29 um is it worth having uh probably not um the masks if they're any good yeah okay a couple of quid they're all right probably wouldn't use any of this maybe use those rocker arms probably wouldn't use any of that not too keen on the wood grain and on those instrument panels i guess these bezels are going to be nicer than the kit parts but we'll see seat belts and the um photo etch buckles and that definitely and this here you know maybe use this for the inside of the uh Junkers j1 or something i don't know if it's big enough but um yeah it was cheap so whatever anyway thanks for watching if you've enjoyed that little review then uh please like and subscribe and as i say if you want to see a review of either of these kits the w12 or the w29 or both then just uh, mention it down in the comments and i'll happily do them um but if you want to see these kits get onto the wingnut wings website wingnutwings.com down the left hand side there's a column of all the things you can look at at the top of that it says model kit sets click on that or just put your mouse over it. i can't remember now and it will bring up a list of every kit they've ever made and are making today if you go on to the what's available today you won't get like this one in there but if you hover over the model kit sets and then come down hover over click on w29 you can open it up it's all there you get every single page of the instructions downloadable in pdf um there's lots and lots of images there's hints and tips there's real-time photographs model uh the wing nut wings website is just incredible just like their instructions i mean look at this you know we've got this model it's a w12 so we're in the first page the first page of the instructions and we've got pictures here of these planes lined up on the beach ready to go out yeah and then we've got plate pictures of them in flight looking to attack some some boats in a harbour bird look of it then we've got close-up pictures of details of the cockpit yeah color call outs for every single part of the kit then when you go over the page you've got the complete cockpit built up all colored and everything and it's giving you an idea of how it should look and what the colors should be they're telling you how to do the the uh, seat belts they're telling you how to do the instrument panel and then there's rigging as well it shows you the rigging guide down here for the control cables and then we go over the page to the engine and there's picture upon picture upon picture and picture of the engine you know and and the look at the instructions they're absolutely beautiful and uh yeah i mean look at this there's one two three four four or five aircraft there and one being lifted up on a crane a and b it's telling you what the, these are the actual aircraft these these photographs are the actual aircraft that are in the kit um you know more close-up details here 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 it's just incredible these wing that wing kits look at this now here we are w12 1401 mid-1918 yeah look 1401 there's no guessing here or getting stuff wrong there's no trumpeter stuff this is real they, they give you the option in the kit and there you go there's the photograph of the real aircraft i mean it's a shame they put this in here because that's a bloody picture you could put on the wall it's beautiful all these guys here with their rifles and arms and you know and uh yeah beautiful so anyway i digress so yeah wing nut wings i'm a fanboy big time am i a fanboy of hgw Mm, I don't know is it worth the money mm, I know I've got the um, AEG G4 
and the super detail sat for that is £85. No, it's not worth it. If it was for something else, then yeah, but not for a wee bit wings. It doesn't need it. So thanks for watching. I say again, if you've liked what you see, please subscribe. Please tell your friends. Please hit the notifications bell. And there'll be many, many more um, stuff. Many, many stuff. Many more reviews and builds and all sorts of stuff online. So uh, yeah, keep liking, keep sharing, and uh, I'll see you all soon. Bye.